Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. So we are discussing principles of management. In this principles of management, very important topic I am going to cover that is F.W. Taylor's scientific management. Taylor, fail, both are confused. Fail principles, 14 principles we have discussed in the previous class. Fails, 14 principles, not Taylor. Okay. Taylor, he has implemented, he proposed scientific management. He is called as father of scientific management. Who is father of scientific management? Remember F. W. Taylor is a scientific, father of scientific management. In the initial stage, he started his job as an apprentice in a steel factory, a steel related industry and later in the year 19, uh, 1870. 1870, he has become a chief executive in the same steel industry and he implemented new methods of production, how the production can be increased, how the cost can be decreased. Production is increasing, cost is decreasing, that is the optimum method of any kind of business. So how we can, so he implemented few principles that is called as scientific management means in fact whatever methodology is going on to that methodology he has implemented scientifically few methods practically he has proved that this is the right method where we can reduce it how we can implement it like different stages. So those te techniques or those principles we call it as a fails scientific management techniques so that we are going to discuss today. Before going to the class, let me remind you all. So these are all videos, 600 plus videos so far I have uploaded. Not so easy. With lot of uh, care and energy and time, I am preparing for you all. Please support our channel. Do share these videos. If you like the video, if you understand the video, uh, understand that lesson, please give a thumbs up button without any hesitation. Don't be a miser. <laughs> now let us come to this today's class. So scientific management by F. W. Taylor. So F. W. Taylor's what he has given you here that is where I discuss F. F. W. Taylor's scientific management and its techniques. I think there is a shadow its techniques. Okay, am I clear? Now total how many techniques are there means total 8 techniques are there. Here 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Total 8 techniques are there. 8 techniques are going to give you different ideas, practical ideas, modernization, implementing new methodologies, that kind of new ideas you can find it in this uh, areas. So what are those we will discuss in depth. I remembered this when I was in BCom first year, this topic was there, business organization management, not BCom first year, BCom second year, business organization and management. In short, we used to call it as a bomb, bomb, bomb subject. So there I remember this topic, I studied very well. When I am preparing for you, I just recollected those days, beautiful days. Anyway, now coming to the eight points. First one is that functional foremanship. Uh, Taylor has decided that let us give the divide the work to some foremans. For who are the foremans? Foremans are just like supervisors. We'll give some work to the supervisors or foremans who call, supervisors we call them as foremans. We'll give some work and we'll give some responsibility to the supervisors or foremans. These people are going to control the workers who are at the ground level who are taking care of the production. These foremans are going to control. How many foremans are there as per this functional foremanship? Total 8. 8 foremans are there. 8 foremans are given different kinds of responsibilities. Let us see the, those responsibilities. First one is that in foremanship, he has divided into two departments, foremans into two departments. First one is planning department and production department. Planning department is just planning about the work structure and how it has to be implemented. So that is the function of planning department. Under planning department, four foremans are there. Under production department, production department foremans means they are directly involved into the production. How will be the production? What is the process of production? How we can control the production techniques? 
So, how we can implement the new techniques like production related 4 months 4, planning department 4 4 months, production department 4 4 months means total 8 4 months are there. Let us see what is the duty of the each and every 4 men. First one is that root clerk under planning department, root clerk. Root clerk, he is going to design the entire work. Who has to do what kind of work? What is their response? What is their role? How much work they have to do? So, like he is going to design the entire work. So, that is the work of the root clerk. Once if he designs the next instruction card clerk, instruction card clerk, he will be following root clerk, designed already by root clerk. Now, instruction card clerk, he is going to give the instructions to the all the workers. Each and every worker is going to do what kind of work as per this design. Like he is going to give the guidance, he is going to show the route. That is why we call him as a after root work instruction mm -hmm. given by the clerk. He is going to give clarification, ideas, methodologies, what they have to do, what they are not supposed to do. Total instructions by the instruction card clerk. After this third clerk, third foreman you can say. Time and cost clerk. Time and cost clerk means he is going to decide how much time is required for each and every work, each and every department, each and every work, what is the time to be given to the particular work and what is the cost we are spending for that particular work. The time and cost calculations are going to do by the clerk or the foreman of time and cost clerk. And last foreman of this planning department is shop discipline year. So, what he is doing, going to do is everything is systematically going or not. All the workers are going to follow the principles properly or not. Are they doing their duty properly or not? Is there any indisciplinary action or indisciplinary uh, activities are going on? Identifying it getting into the knowledge of the management and making them systematically way, systematic way. So, that disciplinary action is going to take by the shop disciplinarian. Okay? So, these are the four foremans under the planning department. Next department under the functional is that production department. Production department foremans are four. These foremans are going to take care of the production only. How the production is going to be? complete, properly, effectively, without any delay, optimum production with less amount of uh, production, less amount we have wanted to spend, but we want optimum production. So, for that purpose, four foremen are appointed. The first foreman is gang boss. Gang boss means he is going to take care of the production functions and what is going on, any kind of problems are going to arise. So, related to the production, machineries are working or not, any stoppage, anything is going on. So, entire production problems he is going to take it. That is why we say him as a gang boss, right? And next one is that speed boss. Speed boss job is to see the speed of the function, speed of the production. How is the production speed? Is it going slow or increasing? should we increase it like the speed of the production he is going to control. How do we see the speed? If workers are working properly then speed is ok. If people are lazy, people are going on leave or working slowly or methodology is slow, techniques are slow automatically that depends on the speed of the organization. So, that is why we say it as a speed boss work is to take care of the speed. How is the speed? Speed is low, we, let us increase it. How we can increase it? What is the technique, technique we have to use it? Upgrade the skills, like, so this is the duty. Next one, repair boss. Repair, any kind of repair is there in production department, like machines or otherwise electrical or any item, if there is any department, it is his duty to take care. So, foreman, repair boss. He has to take care of the repairs. There should not be any kind of pending of repairs. There is a repair, one week it is laying over there only, no one is taking care automatically that affects on the production. That is why there should not be any kind of repairs, it is his duty. And last foreman is that inspector. 
inspector means his job is to inspect the things are going smoothly or not any obstacle any problem is there he is going to take care so these are the foremen's under the production department are you getting it functional foremanship under this total two departments are there one is planning department and production department planning department four foremen's and functional department also four foremen's all together eight foremen's are going to take care of the total functional foremanship before going to that i i forgot to give you the definition of uh, what is scientific management fw taylor has given a simple definition what is scientific management scientific management means knowing exactly what you want men exactly what you want men to do and seeing that they do it in the best and cheapest way simple way once again i read it uh, scientific management means knowing exactly what you want men to do and seeing that they do it in the best and cheapest way what you are expecting men to do men means who are working in the company what you are expecting and see that they have to do the work best way and cheapest way that's scientific management simple definition given by the fw taylor please remember this very important now in this techniques first one is over that is functional foremanship now coming to the second one standardization and simplification of work when work is there that work is to be decided properly by the management things are going on okay it's going on but you always have to monitor the things production department work how it is going on you have to monitor it for this what he is saying is that standardization keep standards of that production work and simplify that work don't make it lengthy simplify it wherever possibility is there go in a simple way suppose say uh, if you wanted to produce the products or if you wanted to manufacturing the products it will take a lengthy time and also it's taking lot of time and energy rather than that let's go and buy the products from outside that is buy rather than manufacturing let's buy it from outside that is simple way like it's only one example i have given you like there are many things in the production department what he says is that standardize it and simplify the work don't make it lengthy so it has to be as simple as possible and but don't ignore the standard now here he is saying that economy in using machines when you are using machines please see that it should be with less cost economy means the cost should be less economy in using machines economy in using staff also staff means employees employee salaries also to be less and also work should be more standard work with less salaries so that is we say it as a economy on in staff economy in using machines economy in using staff and labor cost should be always decreased less labor cost means that is one of the best production methodology you can say so these are the main three principles economy in using machines staff and decreasing the labor cost these are the main things in standardization and simplification of work and third principle is that fatigue study you know that labors are also human beings they can't work monotonously this is one of the hatest and uh, he was disgust this routine work fw taylor always used to disgust the routine work rather than routine work make it something different and uh, employees never feel that it's a boredom of work they should never feel that it's bore routine work monotonous work they are doing it so keep them some kind of recreations change the work change the routine work and give them some relaxations give them some breaks but how much break is required for the sort of scientifically he has given uh, a good explanation a good way or technique you can say so how much break is required he has taken a normal employee normal labor standard labor not hyperactive not lazy normal labor and how much work he is doing it after certain 
stage every laborer every employee needs some rest so after what period he needs the break how much break is required that everything is observed and he has given that so this is the solution so that's about the fatigue study means there should be a rest and breaks to the employees so that in the next after the break next session they are going to work very effectively so that's about the fatigue study now coming to the fourth technique method study method study means what is the method we have to use for the production what method we wanted to use always he suggested modern method which is effective which will give you best production which will reduce the cost and which will be very effective without any damage without any delay the system must go on smoothly that kind of methodology he expected that's called as method study in this best method of production we have to implement it if old method is implemented up, upgrade it find out what is new methodology find out what are the new techniques which are followed by the other companies which have introduced in the market modernize the methodology so that you can get the best method of production that is method study and six, fifth one is the time study time is also very important so time study says that how much time is required to each and every employee to work out if they want more time let them take but standard time standard time what is the standard time decide it you suppose one employee is doing work in one hour that is the standard time then according to the standard time decide that to all the employees give them a targets that this is the standard time within this time you have to finish it up your work not less than that standard time so that standard time if they are following it what happens automatically you are going to decrease the uh, laziness and also you are going to increase the production cost also will be decreasing because all are working effectively reaching the standard time so these are all the possibilities and advantages that is why time study which which is talking about standard time and targets given to the workers as per the standard time this is the standard time if you cross it you will get more benefits like that some kind of standard time and targets to the workers are given so that everyone is going to work very effectively and next method is that motion study motion study which is going to stop the unproductive work unproductive time what is productive what is unproductive if it is productive let us encourage productive time productive work and productive products so let us encourage it if there is any kind of unproductive time means wasting of time so that you have to cut so that's about motion study motion study means it's a movement unnecessary movements we have to cut down cut down the unnecessary movements so that people will work effectively example shall i give you suppose say one worker is working in first floor to take the material he has to go to the third floor that movement is first floor to third floor and again coming back from third floor to first floor it will take lot of time so that is why this movement we have to stop it wasting of time so that is saying in this technique motion study productive unproductive movements identify it unproductive you have to stop it how to stop it you have to think it so and next one is that differential piece wage system differential piece wage, piece wage system is one of the best wage system method i can say because as per this method uh, fw taylor says that don't give the same wages to all the employees keep some difference differential piece wage system implemented suppose say you decide a standard say for example the standard of production is 100 standard of production is 100 this is standard of production decided by the management if you reach up to this level you will be given a salary of something say so salary you will be under the category of a scale if you are going to cross it standard is this much production if you are going to cross it you will be under the scale of b 
B means more salary. Mm. Suppose say, these people are going to get uh, $2,000. $2,000 mm. per month. And if you cross 100 production, then you will be given B, B grade. Example that uh, $2,500 they are going to get. So in this way, keep the differential piece wage system. That is, we say it as a differential piece wage system. So what we are doing it here, standard output. Standard output is 100, we have decided. Then according to that, efficient workers, inefficient workers, two types of workers we are going to identify. Efficient, they will be given more. This is normal actually. Efficient, more efficient people, they will be given more. And those who are unable to reach this 100 products, they will be given less than $2,000. Inefficient they are. When you are inefficient, you won't be getting that target of $2,000. You will be given less than that. This automatically which uh, uh, triggers the mindset of the employees. I am unable to reach up to this level. Then automatically I have to work hard. That motivates. That motivation comes when you keep this differential piece based system. According to the work, efficient you will get more. Not efficient, you will get less. Automatically, everyone wants to be efficient in their work. Are you getting this point? Very important point and the best method also. And next one, mental revolution. Mental revolution means mindset. It, it talks about uh, mindset of the employees and employers. What is the mindset of the employers? Employer, boss. The mindset of the employer will be always want to extract the maximum work from the employees. Want to give the less salary, want to get the more work. And what is the mindset of the employees or workers? Workers mindset is that management is always taking our work. We are working but we are getting less salary. And uh, these people are always taking my energy, time and everything, but where I am getting very less salary, that is the mindset of the employee. So employer and employee, that mindset we have to change it. This is what saying by the mental revolution. There should be a good coordination, harmony relationships, a good understanding between the employees and employers, then only there is a very good harmony and that will be useful, beneficial for the organization. Are you getting that is about mental revolution. You can say cooperation between workers and management that must be always required. That is all. These are the simple 8 techniques of scientific management. Am I clear? Take the screenshot or note down. If you understand, take out your test book and read this same topic. You will never forget. In exam also, I will tell you one thing. You have to remember only the side headings. And what it is, the moment when you see fatigue, fatigue means tiredness, breaks, this and that. Somewhat you have, you should have an idea. In the same way, suppose if you take method study, or the time study, motion study, pace, pace, pace system. When you see the side heading, you should have an idea what it is. Then inside of the matter, you can write it. If you want lengthy matter, take an example and write so that the matter will become pages to pages together. Anyway, points please remember it. Very important topic. Don't skip it. Useful always. And whatever uh, F.W. Taylor has given, there is some kind of, uh, what do you say, a criticism also there. Practically, if you speak, some people say that it may not work out, it may not give good results. Anyway, he is the first person, father of scientific management. He has proposed such a, in those days, 1870, in those days, he has proposed so many techniques. So, hope the talk is useful. So, study well. By the way, check out the playlist. Many subjects, playlist or you can go to the description box. Many subjects already covered. Please use it and forward these videos and support our channel. I required it. So stay connected, have a bright career, good luck.